All right, guys, we're continuing on in our power ranking list. And we're up to number eight, where I have placed the Dark Angels. And this one, again, is one of those shaky ones. But the Dark Angels definitely have a uniqueness to them with being able to run Ravenwing and the Deathwing. And that's there's something about running one of those two that's really appealing. Why not run a lot of bikes? Hit and run. Almost almost to the point where it's kind of like a blitzkrieg. Or Deathwing. Just a massive amount of terminators on the table. So you got a lot of two up armor saves. You've got some three up invuln saves. You got the five up invuln saves normally. But sadly, those are really the only thing that Dark Angels really have going for them. I know with their release in seventh, they picked up some they picked up some new models. I know they got I believe it was an interrogator chaplain. And I don't really know what his stats were. But that's definitely a interesting addition. But something else to keep in mind is Dark Angels have some pretty good HQs to play with. And I'm thinking specifically, I think it's Osmel, uh, the, the one that is on the old style jet bike, all the way back from the Great Crusades and the Heresy. Now this, now I, I do want to point out, it's not like Dark Angels don't have access to other things that space marines do. They have access to rhinos, to predators, uh, razorbacks, and land raiders. They do have a flyer slash bomber, but amongst space marine players, amongst a lot of dark angel players, it's not the world's greatest in comparison to what others get. The Storm Talon and Storm Raven are much, much better. Now, I'm curious to see if they get access to the Storm Raven. That would definitely be a major pickup. But the fact that a lot of people consider running Raven Wing bike lists as a threat. That it's just something that's very hard to fathom, to comprehend in 40k. Especially with everything going on with all these codex updates and data cards. But really with Raven Wing if you played it right. And I kind of think with Raven Wing, with Death Wing, it may be a little bit difficult to really mess something up. Which you could. But you could really play Maelstrom missions really to your advantage. Because you can kind of split your group up into smaller little, little squads and go after the objectives you need or force your opponent off an objective. And the other thing, too, with bikes, squads, is not only can you... do you have the twin link bolters on the bikes, you can put plasma can... or plasma guns... I think you might be able to put melta guns. You can put grenade launchers. And like regular bikes, you can have 
two special weapons in a squad of three. And they would be shooting at full ballistics as if they were standing still. What is it to like about that? You got three, four, five squads of those running around the table. You're going to be in for a massive headache. Especially if you put grab guns on them. So Dark Angels... Are they still a legitimate threat? Are they worthy of being in the top 10? Start this discussion down below in the comments.